Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this effect right here, which is where all the letters start from somewhere, and they all come together, end, and then kind of come together and fly out. This is kind of a tedious effect. It was popularized by Stranger Things. I have a Stranger Things tutorial of how to make it look like the Stranger Things, if you wanna go check that out right here. But this right here is basically you have to do it letter by letter. And yeah, like I said, it gets a little bit tedious, but it comes with a cool effect near the end. So let's go through it and yeah, let's get started. First thing you wanna do is you wanna create yourselves a new composition, click that okay button, uh, whatever settings you wanna set it to. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag ourselves out a little text thing. So let's go with cat this time. Now you might be thinking there might be some, you know, fun way to break this up so that every layer becomes its own letter, you know, cause we're gonna have to animate each letter. So that means we need a layer for each one of these letters. There is not a way to do that in After Effects, so you have to type out every letter individually into a new composition. If you have a lot of letters, you just don't feel like doing this. I don't haven't tested it yet, but I've heard good things about this plugin called Decompose Text. You can see right there that it says it's $14.99, but it's a name your own price, so you can actually pay whatever you want for it. Um, you could make it zero dollars if you really want it for free. A little frowned upon, but you could do it if you want to. I'll post a link for that in the description below if that is something you want to do. But we're gonna do it the manual way right here, which is just really just writing a letter, hitting Control D so you duplicate the letter, highlight, and rinse and repeat. I am going to choose a very small um, word to do this, cat, so that we can just kind of go through this and I don't have to, you know, um, you guys don't have to watch me try to animate a bunch of different letters together. Next thing you want to do is you want to just distribute these out and try to make it look as close to a word as possible. This is harder than than it might sound just because the there's not really anything that can help you with the spacing. I tried using the align tool right here, but the problem with that is it tries to align it on things that characters don't align with. So characters align in their own special way. So if you use this tool, things will be floating where they shouldn't. Things will be too spaced out. It just doesn't work. I think that looks pretty good right here. So we're gonna highlight all three of these, drag them into the center here, and now we got a word to start working with. We need to click this toggles and switches button down here so that we have this revealed so you, it can switch between modes and switches. We need the switches section, and we're going to turn them all into 3D layers. The reason we're doing this is because right now we can control the X space and the Y space, but we need to control the Z space, which makes it come towards you. So once they're all 3D layers, you'll see that once you get into the transform tool here, that it now has a third layer, or I guess a third value right here, and that is our Z space. So what we wanna do is we wanna go to the end where we want this transition to, to stop. So right here at two, because we've already built the end of it. So we're gonna click a keyframe, and then now we go back to the beginning, and then we're going to reverse animate it like so. So we're gonna have it fly out, drag it all the way out, and then move it somewhere. And yep, just like that. And then we need to just do the exact same to all of the other ones. And now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're on the exact same line here. Click the position, go over to here. And what was this value? It was negative 2400. So we're just gonna go negative 2473 again so we don't have to keep dragging it out. And you can see this one needs to go a little bit farther. So we'll just have this one go straight down the center. And then the final one, right like here, gonna go and transform, go make sure they're all lined up. Click, uh, then yeah, click that little stopwatch, move to the front, negative, negative 2473, just because that's what works here. And now you have the effect going on where they all kind of come. And you see that it doesn't look good when something isn't randomized um, to a different space. It kind of looks too uniform. So now they all kind of look cool. And so there we go. Just like that, you have the effect up and working. And like I said, if you have more letters, you just got to do it to the more letters. It's time consuming, it's, it's tedious, but a lot of things in After Effects end up being like that, like masking. Now that we have them all together, I'm gonna quickly show you how to put them together so you can animate them as one word. So they once they're finished, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to layer, new, null object. And so we got a null object up here, and what that is is an object that's null. It doesn't have any properties, values, it doesn't render anything, but it can hold data, and that's what we want it to do. So we're going to click this bottom, hold shift, so that we select all of them. We're gonna use this pick whip tool and we're gonna parent them all to null two. Basically that's all we're doing. We're just parenting everything to null two so that we can control it as one unit. So you knew, you can um, 
rename this to like final word, not world, word. There we go. <laughs> so final word. And now once you do, uh, you wanna make this a 3D object as well, if you're doing anything 3D related. And then now once we click this position marker, we know we can go over here, we can drag it out and you'll see that the entire cat acts as one solid object like a, you know, like a word would. And so there we go. Now we have all the letters coming together. Then they all come back out just like that. And that is really it on that, uh, the major effects of this tutorial. Just animate every letter coming together and then you can null them all together to parent them all to a single object so you can animate that single object outwards again. Hope that helped anyone who's trying to do this effect. Uh, that's it. So if you, you know, like the video, want to see more Adobe related content, I release a video, a tutorial every other day. So go ahead and hit the sub sub subscribe button. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, or you know, you want a tutorial on anything, throw those in the comments below. And I will be sure to get back to any of those questions or comments. And I'd love to make some tutorials off your guys' suggestions. So yeah, until next time, guys, see ya.